The El Dorado fire, burned actively, overnight and expanded by nearly 600 acres as containment remained at 5%, officials reported Sunday morning. As of 7.30 a.m., 2,727 acres had burned just east of Yucaipa, according to the U.S. Forest Service. That's up from 2,159 acres Saturday night. Smoke, which is visible in the Coachella Valley, is expected to impact portions of the Inland Empire and a smoke advisory remains in place through Sunday. The blaze was reported about 10.30 a.m. Saturday and investigators believe it began behind El Dorado Ranch Park in Yucaipa. Five acres had burned by the time firefighters arrived at the scene and the blaze grew to 800 acres by 2.30 p.m. No injuries have been reported and the cause of the fire is under investigation. An outbuilding was destroyed on Saturday, but no other damage was reported as of Sunday morning even though about 30 homes were threatened by the fire. Flames quickly spread and evacuation orders were issued for the communities of Oak Glen, Forest Falls and Mountain Home Village. A portion of North Bench Yukaipa also was evacuated. Red Cross set up a temporary evacuation facility at the Yukaipa Community Center, located at 34-900 Oak Glen Road. Authorities shut down Oak Glen Road between Pine Bench and Cherry Croft Drive, and Highway 38 at Bryant Street. Outdoor recreation areas also closed, including, Vivian Creek, Mamier, San Bernardino Peak, Falls Picnic Area and Thurman Flats Picnic Area. The Mill Creek drainage and off-trail areas of the San Gorgonio Wilderness south of the San Bernardino Peak Divide Trail were also closed. Oak Tree Mountain, a year-round recreation area, shut down in March due to the coronavirus pandemic and again on August 1 because of the Apple Fire. It reopened for three hours Saturday before once again closing, this time due to the El Dorado Fire, owner Precious Dykstra said. Firefighters assured her they had a handle on things, but Dykstra remained worried Sunday as she watched the fire burn nearby. She wasn't as concerned about her business, though, as much as she was about her community losing its ambiance to the fire. It's here. It's burning the hill, she said. I feel okay, but Oak Glen is not okay. A line of retardant separates the flames from Dan Morasic's home at the bottom of a mountainside. He stayed up all night watching the fire and it was, very nerve-wracking, but he was confident by Sunday morning that his home was safe. Nonetheless, he evacuated his home in order to stay out of the way of firefighters who remained active nearby. And like Dykstra, he was mostly concerned about the fire's impact on the community as a whole. You're not going to see that pretty mountain anymore, he said. It's sad to see it go. The El Dorado fire is burning just two miles from where the Apple Fire ravaged 33,000 acres last month, and fire officials said it would work to their advantage if the El Dorado fire entered the burn scar.